very people what the value added tells uh, our chairman will take you through what all are the events which we have planned for the upcoming months but apart from professional de uh, development activities we also do social activities in terms of blood donation camp in terms of uh, helping the labor camps <coughs> distribute food to, uh, during ramadan apart from that we we'll also do social get togethers which will also include families which puts all the bonding together between the members so and under the leadership of mamur bangara there is a nine strong pillars in form of executive committee and which is supported by the strong records of the past chairman and the well wishers of the chapter with this thanks a lot for coming again and i give it to mamur bangara efficiency the way and the rigorous examination <coughs> that we had on that we had our professional well outside india and wherever they went they started to have a very strong footing and recognition and the classic example is in dubai and in dubai as the as well as we is concerned you will see the very very dominant presence of uh, chartered accountants from india in the in their financial industry so as in conjunction with the niche set you know definitely it is a very primary vital uh, obligation and objective of the institute uh, from an institute perspective but on the other hand the economy the people uh, it started to be on different dimensions the chapter of the the merger has been leaders and which was giving a tremendous support for their life and uh, there was a socio aspect also to that because uh, uh, compared to the other profession they will have to heavily invest in getting into a university and get out of the university which will be a huge amount of investment as far as ICA is concerned how much it is a couple of thousand rupees steady material and with that once somebody is committed they are able to make their life that is a very special characteristic of our organization and one thing when we speak about the future of the organization see the economy is not going to stop it's not going to be in standstill the moment that the economy is going to be in place there should be people who are in the financial industry to serve so that is a broader spectrum of what we are in and we are proud of that uh, evolution of chartered accountants now about our chapter In October 2018, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the Y chapter in PO have appointed a new managing committee for the year 2018-19. It will be changed our committee every year, and it is led by myself in the capacity of chairman. And my name is Mahmood Bagara, and the other appointments are vice chairman, uh, Anish Mehta, secretary. C. A. Uh, Subramanian Sundar Nurani, Darmajan Patelli as treasurer, and also Anurag Chaturvedi, Smriti Mishra, Sangeeta Nagar, Manoj Agarwal, Jay Prakash Agarwal as executive members of the managing committee. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is the largest statutory professional body in the world with about 280,000 uh, practicing or members who are registered with the institute. With the student community of around 700,000, we are a one million club in the group, which is a great number. Uh, and Institute of Chartered Accountants of India has got 32 overseas branches, and we are proud to say that ICA Dubai is the largest overseas chapter, and uh, we have about 3,000 members and 3,000. Uh, members uh, in various industries and profession in various segments verticals 
across all over the economy. Uh, let's see, the objective of the chapter is as said, you know, just make a difference and import the knowledge. And especially the fiscal systems of the country is concerned and the accounting standards and report maintenance standards, things are changing every now and then. So we need to impart knowledge to these members so that they will be reforming themselves, refining themselves, so they are taking up the latest challenges which is coming along. And one of the most uh, important challenges of automation is challenging every process, people, jobs, even companies, the way they are structured. If you don't innovate by yourself, you will not become competitive. And once someone you lose the competitive advantage, that will shape the foundation of any entity organization. So basically, those who are structuring or restructuring the organizations, chartered accountants are called as very primary role. And also, uh, when the accounting hardcore process is also getting automated, we have to adapt the new process and techniques. And there will be seminars and conferences imparting knowledge, and there will be speakers coming with a lot of expertise, making our people aware of what is going to be done or going to happen. And uh, the, the other thing is, uh, it's not a phenomenon in Dubai. Wherever CAs are working, see, they, they are really reaching, which is an automatic process for which we are really proud of. Now, as far as UA is concerned, there are about uh, our members are spread across in 1,400 companies approximately. And that include uh, professional service organizations, industries, government establishments. I believe that it is fairly broad spread compared to any institute. And the very fact that uh, we are connected with the 32 overseas branches is a great advantage. It is something that uh, you, you may be seeing that alumni of this one or more or uh, uh, whatever it is, Indian University, Indian Institute of Management. But I feel with the number of people that we have, uh, the global presence is very commendable and phenomenal. And this establishes a sort of an informal relationship between the chapter to chapter, which is also an advantage. And the other thing, as I mentioned to you, the cost of education is phenomenally less. And uh, by our members, them participating, see we have uh, uh, our Knowledge Village office has got a student training center and we have coaching classes conducted. Gentlemen, uh, in the walk of life, we can give any support to any individual. That's a great social service. And you are building people to the a level of excellence. And uh, one special advantage about Chartered Accountant speaking is they are coming out of the uh, they are coming out of their practical experience and training, and they are delivering this. So when something is told and spoken and taught out of the practical experience, that will have a very very powerful impact. So that way, by being a Chartered Accountant, our and our body here getting organized and making this professional development is in a way a service to the society. And about the leadership gentlemen, I have, I'm really uh, proud to say that that is a few occasions in the earlier time the people created their presidency. Otherwise it may be 30th or something like that or uh, 28th. We have a very, very strong lineup of people. How many past chairmen? No, no, not very 40. Much more, 36 out of it, something which are recruited. Whatever it is, I think it may be around 20, 25. Uh, to be in the group of that great leadership band, I feel that a great life honor. And they all done extremely well, and many are here. They said I'm start, uh, starting seeing Nish Mokwana, he has been the past chairman, James Matthew, and of course, uh, we have 
Krishna and Jam, Ramachandra and his advisor of art. <laughs> and uh, Pradeep Singh, uh, uh, Stanley Pereira, another star board. We have Raju Manon. So, this kind of leadership lineup is automatically, uh, as, a, as a process, it has been happening. And these people have emerged as an important personalities in the socio commercial world, which is also an advantage of us having the chapter here. And specifically, gentlemen, we are going to have an event on 13th. And the 13th event, we are bringing people from different walks of life who have shown their remarkable excellence. And uh, the first speaker, for example, I want to give the biodata of all what I would like to highlight is the type of mix and blend which will have relevance for the society and for the chartered accountants as a well. whole. We, we are getting KK Mystery. He is a, is a great orator, he is a very knowledgeable person, and more importantly, he is a chartered accountant too. And uh, he is heading a bank, STFC Bank, one of the uh, main public sector bank of India and uh, see the, the great experience that we can share and the second person is uh, Rahul Shivshankar Times Now is the India's most leading media and when we speak about media whether you do right or wrong you have to be with media they know the pulse of the economy pulse of the country pulse of the society so we are going to have Rahul Shivshankar. Then Sipla is one of the India's oldest multi-billion dollar corporation. Vice chairperson is coming. She is perceived to be the next uh, chairperson. The next we have is uh, uh, Ritesh Agarwal. Gentlemen, it's a story to be listened to. A boy at the age of 18 started a small concept with a one or two rooms which they started to hire and rehire as a, as a model of something like that. Now at the age of 26, he's having, I put it in the profile as 250, but I think even 300,000 rooms and uh, see we have a press conference here for him the day after tomorrow. With SoftBank they are talking about uh, 3 billion dollars financing. So. This is a phenomenal journey and uh, see there, one important element is uh, if we have ideas, concepts, imagination, you will find opportunities from life. And this is another classic example of how life and enterprise could be built without having anything. It's only a computer knowledge, a concept that he has rolled over. And it is not any big, the old, uh, landlord system or uh, the legacy of the rich family it is from a scratch don't you think that there is a there would be a learning for the members to see not in the exact format and some fraction of what it is happening it will be something important now of course we have nothing you know it's a, it's a habit it is a breath of uh, of people movies we are getting prakash raj is an eminent speaker and also wherever he goes, he wins about five, six, seven national awards, one as the best type film, Tamil Nadu award for seven film fair awards. I think that he will be adding value. I know Kedri award is a, that's also another kind of person. The technology made his life because he has made three million subscribers to his web portal, paid web portal by making games and one game he is selling for some good amount of money. And his enterprise was bought out by Walt Disney. Walt Disney. So, gentlemen, now beyond what we visualize, there is enormous changes, especially when we put ourselves in the position of parents uh, and even our own life journey in terms of this one. Uh, so, there will be a lot of intake and there will be a lot of takeaways. So that is how that program is, so leadership is the one. And my next event is going to be about the blockchain, robotics, and also internet of things. And the world is changing, and it is rapidly changing, and it is going to change in a 
much more faster pace than what it has been happening. So in that time, you know, to have our relevance spent, have our position and put things properly on the ground, we need to transform. Transform in this sense that uh, as advisors, as entrepreneurs, and as even accountants, financial advisors and auditors, which are the wider orbit where we do be. So, so that will be my next event. And on first, we will be making a little brief. We will have a little music, and uh, this is a little different from that, and uh, not because we are senior, uh, we wanted to give a different taste. And that music incident, uh, event, and unfortunately, you know, let me pay all tribute to Bal Baskar. You might have read in the newspaper, he said, he's a legend uh, in violin. I had in violin, Bal Baskar, but he passed away. We have replaced another competent person. Other than that, uh, there will be uh, Rajesh Vaidya. He is a, he's a great expert in Vienna from South India. And we have uh, Fasal Qureshi. Fasal Qureshi is a prodigy in Tabla. He is the brother of Ustad Zakir Hussain. And uh, uh, Ustad Zakir Hussain and Fasal Qureshi performed together in many of the uh, concerts. Then uh, we will have someone in uh, in in drums. So this is going, and of course some live music and songs will also be there to try to it. So that will be the, in the continuing phases. You know we will have a banding seminar. So th these are all kind of things and just give a title to yeah. that different taste. And one of the concept, it may be the old wine in the new bottle or I don't know. We we would like to call it as a knowledge club or knowledge championship club so that uh, see whomever so are interested we will be giving sessions and classes uh, in terms of IFR, IFR demanding standards, accounting standards, auditing standards and also the changing legislations, any new legislations are going to come. And end of the day you know I'll go to what, what will get us to that no entrepreneurship or no organizations can not exactly the word unless you are integrating with technology. And one message to entire entrepreneurs is that with holding our chest, we are no more uh, the people who are having the accounting book and the pen and pencil and calculating adding. So we are now the strategist and business managers. That is our mission. In conjunction with what he has said, as the institute and taking a slight deviation in it is for the beyond our traditional and hardcore profession. So that way uh, we, we, we will have our, uh, our growth and our empowerment be projected and initiated. So on various subjects we will be having some workshops here and there. But end of the day there are 52 Fridays and Saturdays definitely will not be occupying all. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I had. Competence also. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we had a great time, and uh, some of my Kerala uh, press people who have told me, look, I know. <laughs> they had <another. laughs> so they, 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 they had called me and many of a few of them told me that they have another press conference and I believe uh, this is the something is an actual we would like to tell about our organization and uh, and uh, from our side it is totally a voluntary service. Nobody is paid for just to try <laughs> and uh, your love, your affection, your, your, uh, your, your endorsement, and if at all, if our children can say that my dad was something like that, <laughs> and uh, we, we, we are uh, privileged about it. And uh, gentlemen, as a value system, and you excuse me for a minute because the whole process at the at the platform of success. You know, it's not somebody doing by yourself, but there are parents who have taken care of you. 
very happy to have brought you in this great country who has given us the platform. It is a, it is a gratitude and from the bottom of our heart. And remember all the services that we have, which is the greatest human value system. And pray that their blessings will always remain with us, with everyone, with the organization. And look forward to your continuing support and endorsement for the, for the process. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Chairman of uh, Dubai. <coughs> Uh, I invite uh, our yes. commissioner to give us questions. Uh, if you have any questions uh, from the media, uh, you can uh, please uh, ask questions to chairman. One important fact, this committee, current committee, has a 32 years of collective experience. Oh. Any questions? Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman said uh, one of the challenges is automation. Yeah. What are the new opportunities for the CA in the future? Other kind of See, uh, the fact is that when we speak about we can say no, no, no. Okay. From that, without humility. <laughs> uh, this is a very, very important question because when we were doing manual accounts and it got computerized, all the accountants just come down and go. And the managing director told me, all the accountants have gone, have the same number in the payroll. <laughs> there are people who is looking after this machine. <laughs> so what I feel is the traditional accounting as accountants, they have all gone even by now. <laughs> Some processes are happening. Those processes are also getting automated. And I to answer your question, so a lot of jobs are going to be challenged. Now that is how they need to adopt the technology and how far technological transformations are going to take place and in that space they have to find a space and uh, this is a macro question for example when Tesla like uh, uh, driverless car is going to happen or uh, this what is that hyper you takes this uh, carry this goods and all uh, the for example in the United States you, the displacement for the truck drivers are so many ultimately what is the solution no, no one can say but with the high degree of automation using challenge challenge of using those information in a more creative way becomes an, an opportunity because uh, accountants were not involved in before in decision making. Now they are into decision making. I feel that it will be its own way. Right now it is very difficult to say, but it is only when you are merging with the technology and newly emerging phenomena we can say. But general thing is that there is a little fear. But I, I believe over a period of time there will be something else or other for us to do. This is why. If I can just add to this, because he says, as an auditor and as the financial experts, we are the decision makers. And the traditional decision making based on the uh, manual accounts or the normal accounts have gone, now more focused on data analytics. So as an accountant, they have to uh, shift, they have to make a shift towards the analysis part. And that's why they have to take the courses which will include data analytics or data mining, etc. And in terms of uh, you know empowering the chartered accountants, as Chairman mentioned earlier, the next event which is going to happen in Rao Bhutan is mainly focusing on artificial intelligence, robot tapes and you know, something. So chapter is also you know giving the empowerment to the members in terms of how to address the technology issues. Anyone else? Anyone else has got any question? Anyone anything from the front? My own colleagues <laughs> would like to enter. Yeah, that is. And activities. Uh, what kind of uh, help you are doing to for uh, labor camps? Say, say something. So mainly social activity. We always do uh, distribution of food during the iftar. But we are also thinking on the line that to educate them towards the basic financial knowledge. 
yeah. so like the savings and related related yeah. things see, see one thing we, we are always willing to do I mean, even we all tv channel or something like that which was not rigorously adopted as which i put it as my uh, mission statement is uh, we don't want to confine this knowledge within our own frontiers okay so our professionals will be will for example manunaya uh, he has done a lot of classes in several social organizations and uh, see uh, he started learning and later on he became a trainer then he became a trainer trainer like that so when the level of expertise is growing they will be able to share that knowledge either through media which has been happening one way or other and if any social organization is interested to avail of service you can write to us or you can contact any of our members and we will be <coughs> organizing that and uh, from a social friend like you said like labor camp and all they, they will be doing it for free <laughs> uh, other ways you know I mean, if there is any commercial aspect to it then that is a different thing otherwise that is our socio obligation do you plan any awareness camp for labor camps labor camps actually we, 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 we didn't do but if you are asked for definitely we will be interested to understand yeah. in fact just to add to chairman's uh, words uh, one of our uh, prominent members, uh, for example, Krishna Brahmachandran, he always comes in TV and you know talk to the wider audience as to how they can, you know, from a small saving, how they can multiply. It. So that is already being done. So having said that, it is you know for the broader uh, uh, but one-to-one -one discussions also, uh, Chairman has mentioned will be taking. And one thing is uh, from an Indian context. Uh, if anybody has income or something like that, they will be hiding from anyone, or tax or wife or anyone. But, uh, they will tell everything to a chartered account. <laughs> okay. Anything otherwise? Thank you. Thank you for the questions. Now I invite uh, our uh, thanks, 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 sir. No. Sir Isaac and everyone and uh, the people here and and our beloved yeah. staff. Yeah, I will invite us, our treasurer, CA, Dharmajan Patri, to share this. Uh, and uh, along with that, you can put the book of text. Yeah. Yes, yes. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming and joining us in this press conference. Uh, with 36 years of existence in the UAE and contributing to the success of UAE, uh, with the galaxy of past chairman as an advisory board and 3,000 plus members working in the different industry. We look forward for an extraordinary year ahead. Uh, the, our first uh, next event is based on the extraordinary success stories and we hope we will uh, listen a lot of stories from our own members at the end of the year directly or indirectly contributing the success stories and we look forward this year as an opportunity based on the innovations and technological developments happening we will be focusing in educating and empowering our members and society in general wherever possible to make sure that this nation becomes the happiest country in the world and using our expertise wherever we can. Thanks once again uh, for joining us and media was one of our uh, biggest uh, partners and strength in spreading the awareness and knowledge whatever we do. So we look forward your continued presence in all our events. Please take it as an invitation for uh, all of our events and let us spread the knowledge and awareness to the larger society. So, thank you once again and let this serve. Uh, okay, thanks all. Thank you. A group photo. Sir, sir, group photo. Yeah. Group photo. Uh, yes, group photo. I think we can take one.